Hello again, Dinky Danny here. As you can tell from the title, I just got a world record, so in this video I'm going to tell you about it, talk about the game I was playing, what I had to do to get the record, and also try and give you some information about the website TwinGalaxies.com. They're the official world record scorekeepers for video games, and they're recognized by the Guinness World Book of Records as the official scorekeepers for video games. So, the game that I was playing was released on the original Nintendo, and I'm sure a lot of my subscribers will know it. It's recognized as one of the most difficult games ever created, and it's called Contra. I just recently put up some videos of me playing through this game for Jughead 82's Contra Challenge, and I was playing it, and I ended up beating the game without dying once. So I looked up on YouTube, was checking out what the world speed time was, and somebody had beaten this game in 10 minutes and 50 seconds. I watched the video, and the guy is incredible. I can't believe all the tricks that he knows. So I'm going to put a link to that over in the description if you want to watch that. 10 minutes, 50 seconds, he completes the whole game. So as I was looking that up, I got led over to the website TwinGalaxies.com. And I'd known a little bit about this website through the movie King of Kong, where people were battling for the world record in the game Donkey Kong. It's an excellent movie. Definitely check it out if you haven't seen it. And they were talking about TwinGalaxies.com being the official world, world record scorekeepers. And I was looking around on the site checking out what world records they had for Contra. And the first one was the speed, the speed run, which was 10 minutes 50 seconds. And I figured it would take a lot of effort for me to actually even come close to that. And the next one was for points. And the world record score for points is 6,553,500 points. So I had already played through the game and I didn't die at all. And as I played through the game, I accumulated 11 lives. You can watch that video I posted it about three weeks ago. It took me about 14 minutes, completed the whole game, didn't die at all. So I had 11, 11 lives and about 750,000 points. So I figured, you know, I could beat the game without dying once. What, what would stop me from playing through the game and getting more and more points? Because every time you complete the game, you watch the credits, and then they start you back over at level 1, and then you still have all your points and all your lives. So I figured I had 11 lives to make it through, and it would keep going up. So I figured I'll give it a shot. So I was playing through the game, and this is something that I never knew about Contra, and I'm sure a lot of you out there who have played this game won't know about it. I started playing through, and the first time I think I died twice, so I had 9 lives on the second playthrough. And I was playing through, you know, no problems, made it through three or four times. And on the fourth playthrough, I was realizing, like, there's a lot more enemies coming at me on these levels. You know, I didn't realize it because it goes up slowly each time you complete the game. But I was going through the first level when there were probably ten enemies on the screen at once. So I was figuring, all right, this isn't going to be as easy as I thought. So I started dying a little bit more. I still probably had about 25 lives after the fourth time beating it. And my score was about 2.5 million. So I kept playing, and on the fifth playthrough, I would play through, and I, my, my life total started dropping, and I didn't know what was going on. I wasn't dying more than I was be, the previous playthroughs. And eventually I realized that after the fourth playthrough, they stopped giving you extra lives every 25,000 points. So basically, however many lives you have at the end of the fourth time through the game, that's how many lives you have to go through the game and accumulate the total uh, point total. So I was playing and I only made it through the sixth run and I died. I, I couldn't keep up with the lives. I kept dying. Every time you die you lose the spread gun. You can't do anything. So I, it took about two hours to do that and I was like oh man this is a lot of effort. You know it was a lot harder than I was expecting it to be but I guess it's a world record so it makes sense. You know that's why not many people do it. So I took about, I took about a two hour break and I decided to go back through and try it one more time because now I knew that the game gets more difficult and also you stop getting extra lives so I figured I'd play through the four, first four playthroughs accumulate as many lives as possible so that I could last through the last couple times and I calculated out you have to beat the game nine times in order to get the 6.5 million points that you need for the world record so I started playing through again Made it through the first one. I was killing every enemy, getting as many points as I could. Kept killing them, and I made it through the fourth playthrough, and I had 31 or 32 lives left over, so I figured I could die about six times each playthrough. So I'm going through, playing the fifth run. Made it through, barely died, and as I keep playing, 
This game gets so incredibly hard. I've never seen a Nintendo system lag up so much. There are probably 20, 25 enemies on the screen. Everything's lagging. There are bullets flying everywhere. And you can't even see where all the bullets are. So I was playing through and I was actually getting, getting pretty nervous because I didn't think I'd be able to do it. And I didn't want to keep spending two and a half hours and then not make it through the game. So I kept playing. And the second time, I actually completed the game. I made it to the last level. Made it through without dying at all. And I ended up completing the game nine times in a row with 18 lives left over. And then the, you hit the max point total, which is 6.5 million points. Uh, 6,553,500. And then you can keep killing enemies, but you can't get any more points. So the game pretty much stops then. I guess that was the max that the Nintendo could hold for that. And while I was playing this, I had to record the whole entire thing on a VCR. So I was sitting there, and I had to find a way to submit this to TwinGalaxies.com so they could verify that I actually did it. So I'm, I had to go dig through my house. Nobody uses a VCR anymore. And I found one VCR. I called up Best Buy. They didn't have any VC, uh, VHS tapes. So I had to go up to Radio Shack, luckily they still had them, and I ended up recording it on the VHS, went on to TwinGalaxies.com, filled out a form, and sent in the VHS tape, and about two weeks later, they had me up on the website as a world record holder for the score in Contra, and just the past couple days over the weekend, they actually sent me a certificate saying that I was a world, world game, or video game world champion. And they actually sent me this Dinky Dana one as an extra. Uh, they, they sent me one with my real name. And it says, World Champion on Contra. Proclaimed the NTSC World Champion on Contra for the NES platform for achieving the world's highest score of 6,553,500 6, points on April 21st, 2010, as verified by videotape submission. So I, I actually did it. I'll be in the world record book for that. And I thought it was funny on the certificate, they have Walter Day down there in the picture. I don't know if you can see it, but I thought that was pretty funny. So, pretty cool being a world record holder. I just figured I'd put up this video kind of to celebrate, you know, getting that record score. And also check out the website, TwinGalaxies.com. They have thousands of games on there. You can get all kinds of world records. There are a lot of them that nobody submitted anything for. So go on, check it out. I know a lot of people are really good at those old Nintendo games. I mean, this one... I only had to try twice. I probably played for about six hours and I was able to get a world record just because I had played it so much whenever I was young and I just knew the game that well that it was, it was just kind of burnt into my head so it didn't take much effort. So I know a lot of you will probably be able to get up on the boards, hopefully get some scores on there and let me know if you do. So I'm Dinky Dana and thanks for watching.